Welcome to this maths intervention on mixed numbers. Before we start, you'll need to make sure you have some multi-link, some squared paper, a pencil and a ruler. OK, so first of all, we're talking about mixed numbers, which are a type of fraction. So before we start, we're just going to recap onto some really important points any time we're talking about fractions. And that's what do they mean? So, so far, we've met fractions that might look like this. And we've learned that this number is called the numerator and this number is called the denominator. So we're just going to recap on what that means. Well, the numerator is the number of parts we are counting. But really, although the numerator is the top number, it's the denominator which is the most important to start with. So we're going to start with that. The denominator is the number of equal parts in one whole. So if I had one whole chocolate bar, for example, and that chocolate bar is cut into four equal parts, the denominator is going to be four because that is the number of equal parts in one whole. The numerator is the number of those parts we're counting. So if I ate three of those four equal parts, my numerator would be three. When we're talking about mixed numbers and later on in proper fractions, it's the denominator we really need to be 100% sure we understand. So I'm going to leave that statement there for us to keep referring back to if we need to. OK, so what is a mixed number? Well, a mixed number is made up of a whole number and a fraction. For example, three wholes and one half or five wholes and two fifths. It's where we have a whole number and a fraction all together. OK, let's have a look then at what it might look like if we were to draw it. So I'm going to do some for you. You can look at what I'm doing, listen to what I'm saying, and then you'll have some to try yourself. So let's look at the pink one first. We've got two shapes which are completely shaded in. One hole, two holes. So that's two holes. This one has only got parts shaded in. It's divided into six equal parts. So my denominator is six. One of those parts is shaded. So this part, this shape represents one sixth. We have two holes and one sixth. OK, let's have a look at the blue one. Maybe you could think ahead, see if you can work out what it is I'm going to say. On this blue line, we have one, two, three whole shapes shaded in. So we've got three holes. This shape isn't completely shaded, it's part shaded. So first of all, let's work out the denominator. It's split into one, two, three, four equal parts. And three of those are shaded in. So this blue picture represents three holes and three parts out of four equal parts, or three and three quarters. Let's do the green one. We have one whole one this time, so one whole shape. This shape represents part of a whole. It's split into eight equal parts, so the denominator is the number of equal parts in one whole. And then we've shaded in five of those parts. So the green picture represents one and five eighths. OK, I'm going to now show you some. Pause the video, write down which mixed numbers you think are being shown, and then restart the video to see if you were right. OK, so let's have a look. This picture shows one, two, three holes and this, fraction, this one split into fractions is split into six equal parts and five of them are shaded in. So that green one shows us three and five sixths. This one, one, two, three, four, five holes. And this bit here is split into four equal parts and one of them is shaded. So it's five and a quarter. This one's a little bit different. We've got four shapes shaded in completely. This last shape is split into six equal parts and four of those parts are shaded in. So this 
picture could represent four and four sixths. Okay, so we've now looked at some pictures and we've said what the mixed numbers are. But what about if we had to draw or represent the mixed numbers ourselves? So if we were to write one and two thirds, it would look like this. So first of all, we need to think about splitting it into parts and holes. We've got one whole shape and then the second shape is only filled in partly. So you will find this much easier to do if you use squared paper. Okay, so here's my piece of squared paper. I need to draw one whole shape and one part shape. Now to work out how big my shapes are going to be, I'm going to use my denominator. My denominator is three. So there are three equal parts in a whole. So one whole, I'm going to make three squares big. I'll show you in a minute. If you're not confident with drawing on squared paper, we'll show you how it also looks like with multilink. Okay, so that's one whole one. And then the second one, well, it's still made up of three squares. So it's still the same as the shape before. They're identical. But this time, we're not going to shade the whole thing in. So we've got a whole shape. That's our one. And then this bit is two parts out of three equal parts. So there's my three equal squares. And I'm just going to shade in two of them. So that's how you might show one and two thirds. So drawing fractions is always a really good idea because it helps you compare. And to know how big your shape has to be, your denominator is always going to be really helpful. So let's have a look at what would happen if we maybe tried to use multi-link. So let's do a different fraction now. Let's do two and three fifths. Okay, so we've got two whole ones and then three fifths. Right, remember I said which, let, which number we're going to look at and it's the denominator. So there's gonna be five parts in every whole. So if I was going to use multi-link, which I'm going to now, it's five cubes make a whole one, okay? So five cubes make a whole one. So I'm gonna make one whole one. That's five equal cubes, that's one. I need another one because it's two. And it doesn't matter what colour your multi-link is. So let's get another five multi-link because the denominator is five. So that's my two whole ones. And then this time, I don't want all five. I only want three of them because it's just part of the whole. So we could build two and three fifths. Two whole ones and three out of five equal parts. So we've looked at how we might build a fraction and how we might draw one. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a fraction on the screen and I would like you to pause and I'd like you to have a go at building it with multi-link and drawing it and then unpause to see if it looks like mine. So the fraction I would like you to draw and build is one and three quarters. So remember, the denominator is four. Pause the video, see if you can build and draw one and three quarters. Okay, let's see if you were right. Well, first of all, my denominator is four, so I need four blocks in each whole one. I've only got one whole one today, it's just one. And then the second lot, I only gonna want three of the four so you should have built something that looked a little bit like that. Of course, yours could be completely different colours. If I was going to draw that fraction on my squared paper, my shapes will need to have four equal parts. So I'm going to use the squares on the page to help me. Okay, so that's one shape in four equal parts. Now, I know this is only going to be a part shape, but I will draw it all, but then I won't shade it all in. So, there it is. I'm going to shade in one whole shape. This time, though, it's only part. It's three parts out of four equal parts. So, I'm just going to shade like that. So, there you have two different representations of a fraction. So, the first fraction I would like you to build and or draw is two and a half. So pause the video, 
Use multi-link or your squared paper to represent two and a half and then unpause to see if you were correct. Okay, two and a half could look like this or it could look like this. Okay, your next one is going to be one and three quarters. So pause the video, build or draw one and three quarters and then come back to see if you were right. So one and three quarters might look like this, one and three quarters, or if you were going to draw it, it could look like this. Okay, the next one I'd like you to have a go at is four and two thirds. So I'd like you to either build or draw four and two thirds. Pause the video and then come back to check if you're right. Okay, so four and two thirds might look like this. Four whole ones and then two thirds. Or if you were going to draw it, it could look like this. Okay, let's do one more. To finish off, I'd like you to do two and three sevenths. Pause the video and then come back to check your answer. Okay, so two and three sevenths might look like this. One, two, and then three out of seven. Or if you were going to draw two and three sevenths, it could look like this. So, how did you get on? Hopefully, you've now got a better understanding of mixed fractions. And our next se session will be about improper fractions.